Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. May the 4th be with you. Today, we're taking a look at some new updates to the Bloxy theme. Let's dive right in. Okay, we're gonna take a look at three major updates to the Bloxy theme and companion plugin, starting with the new travel starter site. Even though you might not be installing too many travel blogs and websites, at least these days amidst the COVID stuff, we're gonna take a look at that. And what that really brings into play for Bloxy is the new transparent header functionality. And there's a little bit of a twist there. This is something that's very common amongst page builder uh, requests. And then lastly, we're gonna take a look at the page and post editor feature. And I think a lot of you are really gonna like this one. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We have uh, the standard Bloxy theme right here. This is the news theme. We're gonna end up back here, but first let's go ahead and install and activate the new travel theme. So we're gonna go to the Bloxy companion. We're going to go to starter sites. And we are going to import the travel theme. And this is really how easy this stuff is. If this is your first time looking at Bloxy, much like many other uh, themes and page builders, you go to the admin section, you click on a starter site that is attractive to you, you hit install, and it takes care of the rest. So what it's doing is installing uh, some baseline content, some images, and it's setting up uh, predominantly the home page uh, of the demo. So it's done, starter site imported successfully. We're going to view the site. It's gonna take us to the front end of the site and it is, in all regards, a beautiful travel site. We have this big expansive hero at the top and of course, uh, the uh, star of the show, the transparent header uh, as well. And as we uh, scroll down, you can see we have popular destinations, uh, some nice iconography here to separate maybe some other uh, elements uh, nice video hero is what I'm calling this section here. It's a really nice, nice modern uh, travel site. And I really uh, like the look and feel of it and especially the footer section for some reason really, really catches my eye. Now, what you've noticed at the most starter sites with the Bloxy uh, theme is it's compatible with Elementor and you can actually install and activate uh, Elementor right out of the gate. If you don't, it's not going to have any of this structure. Now, Bloxy, that doesn't mean that Bloxy isn't compatible with Gutenberg and Breezy uh, and Beaver Builder. In fact, it is uh, for a lot of structural elements within the theme. The key thing here is, is that Elementor works right out of the box with the structure that they're giving you. That's why they activate it by default. I really hope that they do improve this compatibility uh, in the future so that when you install it, one, it takes into account maybe the page builders you already have installed and it, and it allows it to uh, go into that particular page builder framework uh, or it gives you the options from the onset. Now I know that's it's a tall order, that's a lot of work, it's a lot of styling work, it's a lot of extra work, but maybe, just maybe they'll get there. Uh, I think some themes that do that really well are Astra, and the Nev theme, the Nev theme is one that I still really need to go deep on uh, in this channel, it's a great theme. Let's edit this site with Elementor and you'll just see sort of the structure that's there. And I'm gonna give you two tips um, that I normally do uh, or that I would do with Elementor on a theme like this. So you can see uh, all of the structure is there. Most of this stuff is just H, is what I'm calling HTML components. They're WYSIWYG components. Uh, there are no real logical elements here. It's all text. Uh, it's all stuff that you can go in and edit this text, uh, edit the buttons, style the buttons uh, if you wanna change that. But it's all relatively straightforward. And what I mean by no real conditional logic, in other words, this is not querying any data. It's not going in and pulling up uh, posts that are within the WordPress site. This is all sort of hand entered content that you can link up all the way down to uh, even the icons, like these little pin icons. Uh, this might throw some people for a loop. You have to edit the HTML in order to see uh, that little uh, PNG, pin.png that makes up uh, the entry point of these sort of names here, Norway, Indonesia, Ethiopia. So everything is sort of hand-coded HTML, if that makes sense, hand-coded by it's in the WYSIWYG editor uh, of Elementor. So you can go through, manipulate this stuff, but what I recommend doing, which I've already done, is actually saving this as an entire template 
right? So you can save this entire page uh, as a template, which I've actually already done, but I'll just do it here again for the sake of it. Homepage travel to, I'll save that. And what this will allow you to do is reuse this homepage template on another interior page of your site. And you can see I already have one here, travel homepage. Uh, I saved that earlier before. Uh, and actually I just saved the section here now that I noticed that. And that's the second thing that I was gonna show you is I save uh, the individual sections as well. And let me show you how that plays out. So I save the entire page as a template. That way, when we uh, want to repurpose it on another interior page, we can just dump the whole template right back in. Or like I have this video hero already saved. Uh, let's go ahead and drop one below. Uh, let's just put it right here. We'll do video hero insert. Yes. And there's that video hero that I saved from up above. And I believe that's right here as well. So what I'm doing is look, I know when I'm picking a theme like this, as 90% of us do, we look at the homepage of a theme and we say, this is the theme we really like. Like all of these elements, usually the coolest elements are on that homepage. And nine times out of 10, we're gonna wanna repurpose that when we build out our site. So I save the entire page as a template. Then I save these little sections too. I think, you know, maybe you don't need to always drop in an entire template. Maybe you wanna just pull in one or two of these little sections to make your life easier. So really cool, uh, you know, that it's compatible with uh, Elementor. So one of the things I just wanted to quickly show you, let me just go global settings, theme styles. When we pull up the theme styles, this will uh, allow you to do things like, well, maybe with Elementor's global theme styles, we just wanna change all of the fonts. And I'm just gonna give you one quick example here. Let's say the H2 element is uh, pretty uh, predominant across at least this homepage. And we wanna change the typography there uh, to something different. So let's just go ahead and pick something that's radically different here. <laughs> uh, let's go metal. Oh, that's not one that's really good. Metal mania, let's cha change it to that one. Oh, that was H1, sorry. So let's go family, we go metal, mania, H2. So there you go, let's get that out of the way. So you can see with Elementor's global typography settings, I changed this to something drastically different. So metal mania changes the real uh, drastic elements, but you know, it's really easy when it integrates with Elementor and you're making these broader design decisions across the board. Uh, you can sort of play with it and get the look and feel that you want. So it doesn't always have to be a travel agency website or a travel destination website. It could be a haunted house of horrors or a metal hairband website. I mean, you all know that you can kind of change the look and feel, but use some of the uh, great structure of a theme like this. Okay, now we're gonna dive into the second most uh, prominent feature in this update, and that's the transparent header. Okay, so when we're talking about the transparent header in Bloxy, there's a few features that we want to pay attention to. So first, let's just take a look. You can see that on the homepage, obviously the header is transparent. It's going right into our nice big hero area. When I click on blog, uh, it's gonna load the blog archive in a transparent header. When I go to the about page, it's going to do the same. So you get the feel of it, but there's one thing I want you to pay attention to. We're going to go back to the blog. We're gonna go to an individual blog post. And you'll see that the individual blog post also shares that transparent header uh, image or setting. Let's go to the customizer. And when we're in the customizer, uh, we're going to go to the header section. And you'll see here it is set to transparent because we have a transparent header here. And the little right hand side, right on the right to, the, to that option is a conditions option. And when I click that, it's going to bring up this display conditions UI. And you'll see right here on the screen that this transparent header will only show on these pages, uh, home, blog, about us, contact, and the single post. So any blog post, any single post um, post in WordPress is going to include uh, the transparent header. Now, if I remove this condition, save the condition, Let's pull out of the customizer. You'll see now the transparent header is gone. 
So you can see the flexibility of the theme, not only just the transparent header, but the conditions give this a, a nice little touch. Now this is something that I am, I have some mixed feelings about. So I tested this before recording and all of this feature function is actually stored within the Bloxy companion. So if you don't have the Bloxy companion enabled, you can't enable the transparent headers and you can't uh, enable those conditions. So I do like that. I do like that that feature is inside of the plugins code, right? I mean, I like separating feature function design uh, into plugins and into where it belongs in the themes. Yeah, I'm just sort of a mix of when somebody's using this with like say an Elementor or a Beaver Builder, uh, Beaver Themer has all of its conditional things. So, you know, it depends on where you're working with this within this stuff. Do you want to be in the customizer? Customizer, what's a weird way of saying it? <laughs> you want to be in the customizer, you know, modifying this stuff, or do you want to be in your page builder options? It's just a balancing act. I get it. Uh, but for Bloxy theme and the companion plugin, it does make sense uh, to put it there. So you can see that we'll go back to the customizer. We'll enable the conditional header one more time so you can see that. And I should note that, let me just go back to centered so you can see that. When we go to the centered option, uh, there is no choice to make this conditional. So maybe they'll add this in the future where you could have fully conditional styles to your header um, and not just for the transparent, but for now, we go to transparent, you can see the conditions option uh, brings itself back to life. We can add this new condition. And you can see the options you have. I mean, you could go into uh, any single page, or those are single pages, uh, or categories, all posts, single posts. You can identify, you know, which ones that you want to go to. So you could get pretty granular with this stuff. Hit save, hit publish, and there you have it. The transparent header is back. So very, very powerful. Um, and it's a nice feature. I mean, I think a lot of people are always looking for transparent headers, especially in page building world the page building world. Let's dive into the third and last feature that I want to show here, and that's the post and page title option. All right, here we are back into the standard Bloxy news theme. We're going to make a new page because I want to show you this in a really uh, clear, cut, clear cut way. So I'm going to say Matt's page. I'm going to paste in some Ipsum text. I should really have a short cut for this, but I don't. So let's just grab this for right now. Publish this page and we will see what it looks like. It looks like a standard Bloxy page. So there it is, Matt's page. We're going to go back to edit this page. And we're going to go into the Bloxy uh, page settings right up on the upper right hand corner. And we're going to focus our attention to the page title. Now, by default, it's set to inherit, inherit whatever the theme global styles and options uh, want us to do. We're going to click on custom, and this is where the magic happens. You can see title, excerpt, post meta, and it's type one and type two. Let's switch it to type two, just so we have some contrast here. You can see it already looks a little bit different in this preview and con content alignment gets centered. Uh, container minimum height gets set, background type is color. So let's hit update and let's see how that changes this page. And you can see the title uh, got centered there. There's that gray background to the, uh, to the page title. But let's go ahead and insert uh, some of this post meta. So when we expand the post meta, you'll see we have these meta elements, these options to play with. Let's go ahead and enable author and publish. And you can see that it's giving me additional options here to do a different date format and avatar size, but let's just update and preview anyway. And you can see it automatically places in that author uh, avatar and when the post was published. I mean, that is really, really effortless. We can add the comments section in there and refresh. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Preview, preview a new tab. And no comments on this page, so it's not going to show that or a comment count. Uh, one of the things that you could do is, let's say I wanted to 
get rid of the author element, but then duplicate this section. So if I added that, or I wanted to, let's say, show the breadcrumbs, let's expand this second post meta elements and put just the author down there. And let's put the breadcrumbs, let's put the breadcrumbs above the title. Let's see what that looks like. I haven't even tested that yet. So preview, preview a new tab. And there it is, there's the breadcrumbs, there's the page title, the publish date, and then the author. Pretty crowded, I'd say, but let's just roll with it for right now. And the last element here that we wanna play with is, let's say, featured image. Let's put the featured image uh, in the background uh, of that page title, and we will go and set a featured image. Um, I don't know, let's just go with this one. Set featured image, update. And there's that background image. Of course, it doesn't look all that good with the font colors uh, or the typography colors that we have set here, but you can always change that uh, in the settings. I think we can actually do that right back here. Let's go into the Bloxy settings, page title, design, title font color, white. We won't play with all the other ones. Let's just go with the title font color and let's make it a lot larger here. So let's do, let's just do 95 and see what that looks like. Preview, preview a new tab. Boom. There's our larger title. It's in white. So it's contrast against this uh, featured image background. And that's the third and final option that uh, I've really come to enjoy in the Bloxy theme. I've been talking to the authors directly through email. Um, I keep asking them, when is there going to be a premium option? Uh, they said it should be soon, but they're reworking a whole bunch of uh, things in the theme to make it a lot more attractive for that featured uh, premium option. So fun stuff, definitely check them out. Uh, it's a great theme, especially if you're starting new and you wanna build your base on something uh, that is going to have uh, tons and tons of options for you. I think in the future videos, what I'm gonna take a look at is how it supports other page builders uh, and specifically Breezy, since I've never really dove into the Breezy world. Um, it's something that I'm very interested to look at myself anyway. So it's the Bloxy theme, it's Plug and Tut. So PluginTut.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. If you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want more, let me know what you're using in the comments below. What video do you wanna see next? All right, we'll see you in the next video.